what's going on guys kind of an impromptu live i just posted this what like 30 minutes ago hey <laughs> type where said hey eric is paying more money actually this is like the polar opposite of the last haul that i did this is actually like a gigantic gifted haul i got a ton of perfumes gifted to me there's a couple in here that i did buy um but generally overall most of them were actually gifted so amazing very exciting stuff i just got back from new york i know some people thought that i would be um live streaming from new york but i didn't have any time to do that when i was in new york i was only there for like two days and it was just like go 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 the whole time hi ryan um i was in new york to film a podcast with max aroma and it was a really great experience i got to go and see like their warehouse and do a tour and film a podcast meet the team everyone was so amazing they had an amazing dog there too i don't know why i'm like why why is this happening guys why am i like so red i don't know <laughs> um but yeah so i got to meet everyone and i brought home a couple of perfumes in new york i um i just spent the whole entire time smelling perfumes i went to scent bar um which is like lucky scent and that was nice i went to oswald at Os oswald <laughs> i don't know it's like an old perfume store that closed and then they just reopened and i went and visited them and i went to bergdorf goodman's i went to Saks. i did all the amazing new york things so many different perfumes to try i literally spent the entire time just smelling perfume so basically it was an amazing trip for me jenna said more sweet gourmands yeah um i wouldn't say there's any crazy gourmands that i have here i have a couple that are nice vanillas but i don't know if i would say they're all necessarily like true gourmands or anything like that but hey bane everyone saturday night we're not expecting a giant turnout i'm sure there are lots of people out there doing fun things with their lives <laughs> i just got done filming a bunch of videos and um oh yeah yeah where did that go it just totally reminded me of something that i also got while i was in new york that i made sure to get and to ask for because i've just gotten how many people every time i do a live stream people ask me about aaron terrence's fragrances and i've never tried any of them i'm not doing anything fun skills we're here we're having fun hi hillary nice to see you yeah it was really hot in new york but luckily we left before it started raining do a how to spot a fake video yeah i mean i could do something like that but i would feel kind of like i don't know like it's a lot of responsibility right because people are looking at you to like make sure they got something authentic and i'm not necessarily like the real like that's not my area of expertise if you will like i um i tend to like only order from legitimate places you know like i don't i'm not a huge fan of macari i'm not a huge fan unless it's i'll shop on macari but only if it's like um things that aren't really fake do you know what i mean like a lot of cheaper designers things like that but when it comes to like Tom Ford, Maison Margiela, a lot of things like that that are faked all the time. Like I would never buy that from Macari and I don't shop on eBay generally. Um, I just buy my fragrances from like Max Aroma, Joma Shop, or in person if I'm feeling, sometimes I just wanna pay full price. I don't know, it's really random, but <laughs> you're the queen of fragrances, thank you. Maybe I'm allergic to some fragrances. It's very possible I'm allergic. Wow, because yeah, look at this, this is wild. I actually have like a lot of severe allergies, but even if I'm allergic to fragrances, I will be here until the day I die. <laughs> Hi, Hez. Hi, Jose. I ordered Tony Iommi because of you. The baby maker video, wish you like, you're gonna be making a lot of babies <laughs> and you're gonna smell absolutely fantastic. I was listening to some gorillas. That's fun too, you know, a little jam out session on your on the weekend. So, but yeah, I could do this, how to spot a fake, but there's only a handful of things that I know that are really obvious, like with the, the Baccarat Ishoi 40, it's really easy to see if it's fake when they um, don't have the right font with the J. And it's also very easy to tell when you take off the, uh, the top, you know, like if it's metal or plastic or whatever it's supposed to be and it's not that's kind of like the easiest giveaway 
but they're getting good with the fakes, you know? I have a friend that orders fakes on purpose. Like, she doesn't want to pay, like, full price, so she'll buy a fake. And the juice actually smells very similar. Uh, I wouldn't trust those ingredients, though. You could be very... I don't want to say it'd be dangerous to put it on your skin, but the fact is you don't know what the ingredients are and it could, you could hurt yourself or having a react, like having a re have an allergic reaction, Jesus. <laughs> uh, you just, you don't know how you're going to react to those ingredients. We're already messing up our words, don't we love this? Hi, Marcus. So I guess we can jump into this. Like I said, basically all these perfumes were gifted to me from different places. I just came home, I've been getting a lot of packages have a what? Yeah. <laughs> I have a very hard time speaking sometimes. I do not deny it. I am not the most like fluent speaker. Not fluent, but like I, it doesn't happen naturally for me. Like I think a lot of people think that it does because I'm on YouTube and I can talk on camera or whatever, but I fuck up my words all the time. I don't know what it is. I think it is like it has a lot to do with my allergic reactions to things because my tongue like swells randomly. I don't know, it's just really weird. See, and then and that's another thing I do. When I read the chat and then I start talking, I will say what I'm reading instead of what I'm thinking is so bad, guys. But this is just basically all my live streams are just readily available blackmail. <laughs> but the thing is, is that I just, I don't care. Like it is how it is, it's, it's just how I am, so. I'm a goofball, and that's just how it is. I love that you have a new haul every weekend. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. It's, it's, uh, you should probably not copy me, emulate me. It's just, it's not good. I actually just placed an order as well for something online too. Really bad. Because people, I don't know, people talk crap about getting gifted things, but I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, when people give me things, it's not with the expectation that I'm going to make content for them or that I'm going to like say that I like it. Um, nine times out of 10, I ask for a discovery set because I, I want to know like if I'm going to get something, I want it to be something that I like, you know, like it's not fun to have a bunch of fragrances that you don't like to wear, that you don't want to talk about because it's not fun. And, and the whole point of getting gifted fragrances, I think is like, when you're a reviewer, you need to have fragrances to review. Like you want to expand your knowledge on things and people want to hear different opinions on different fragrances and that's really the best way to do it, you know? When I accept a gift from a brand, I'm not doing it as like a advertisement for them, you know? It's 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 just content for my channel and, I'll, and I'm always honest about what I think about fragrances. So that's not something that anyone any of you guys ever need to worry about. Like, I'm going to tell you how I really feel about things. I'm getting better in lives. <laughs> Thank you, Bane. Your tongue swells randomly. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I can feel it. It's like, I don't know, because I wouldn't say that I feel nervous, but maybe it's like a nervous thing where like I know I had to talk, or maybe it's just because I got done filming two, I, I just made a lot of videos. Um, just, I did some reels and some videos, and so I'm kind of like, oh, you know, a little tired, but. Yes. So, scent of the day, Zerja Vyakubar 1. Amazing. So good. I don't smell like anything right now. <sighs> I guess I just sprayed one thing on my arm. It smells really good that I'll talk about in a little bit. What do I think about Oud for Greatness? I like Haltane better. I have a little 10 ml of Oud for Greatness. I like Haltane better. It's just my personal opinion. Um, they're kind of similar, but I like Haltane a million times better. Um, Exactly, exactly, Visco. I don't see the problem of being gifted fragrances. It gives you the opportunity to smell new things and us the opportunity to hear about them, yes. And it's also kind of like, I think it kind of balances out a little because I do buy a stupid amount of fragrances. It's not like I'm just out here, like, you know, asking for free stuff. Like, give me free stuff, give me free stuff. Like, I get gifted things, but I spend <laughs> just an absolutely embarrassing, stupid amount of money on fragrances. I mean, I have bought most of my collection. It's not like I'm just getting everything sent to me free. But regardless, it's not something that we need to dwell on, you know? Oh no. So now, I don't know what it is with my internet. I have been on the phone with my internet provider for like days. So weird. I'm sorry if it's a little blurry. It should get better. Tiger or Vibrato. 
Um, they're both good. I don't have Tiger. They do smell very similar, but I don't, I don't know how Tiger performs. I don't have that. Um, I do like Cruz del Sur too. It's, it's kind of like a, it's very interesting. It's like an exotic mango. There's like a, I think it's passion fruit. There's some sort, or star fruit or something like that. There's like a exotic Thai fruit or something in there, like a, like a exotic fruit. Okay. Um, can I say your name? I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> Hi, Milo. I love star fruit. Yeah, so it's cool. So let's get into this, shall we? Let's some of this stuff. So today I just randomly got a package in the mail. I actually talked to this brand and asked for a discovery set, like I said, what I usually do. But I was surprised, instead of discovery set, to find these. This is from uh, Paris Monte Carlo. I've tried this one a few times. Vani de Ta Tahiti. Tahiti. Search off Herba Pure is the best. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not... I like Herbapira, I do. You'll notice that I don't really talk about it on my channel because I just, I don't know. I like it, but it's not my, I, it's not something that I really grab for ever. I like Herba Gold a lot better. Um, I've smelled this one a few times. The opening is a little, well, one, the cap is a little not the best, but um, the opening of this is a little rough around the edges. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that's just like something that people say and someone commented that it's not good to say that because it makes it sound like you do lie. I don't lie, but I just naturally say that. But I catch myself every time I say that now, like I'm not going to lie. I always think of that person that commented <laughs> that you shouldn't say that. And I'm like, oh crap, I said it again. So the opening in this is a little tiny. There's something in this that, I don't know. There's like a slightly synthetic tropical floral vibe in the beginning, but it does go away. It, it uh, as it dries down, it gets a lot, a lot better on the skin. It kind of turns into like a more tame version of By the Fireplace. It's good. I, I like it. I need to spend more time with it. I have to see if that opening is something that I can get around but I think I like the x better because I smelled that at Exant and I didn't have any issue with that. And I did have some samples from the brand too and I remember I really liked the x version. <sighs> Hi, Alexander, what's my favorite Zerjoff via Gabor one? All the OGs know that. It's the best, it's just fantastic. And I got something here that, it's not similar, but I feel like it's similar. Like, I don't know, it just reminds me of it. And then we got this like, Cedro, I do love my pronunciations, guys. Cedro di Diamante. <laughs> I have not tried the perfect oud. Well, I think I actually did try the perfect oud in New York. Nothing from that house really stood out to me. So I wasn't really impressed with it. I was really looking forward to it because I've seen a lot of people posting about it, a lot of content creators talking about it on Instagram, especially. But for me, nothing really stood out. There were some that kind of smelled like dupes of things, like copies of things, and I just, I wasn't that impressed. I like this one a lot more. I don't know, just based off the name, I was thinking it was gonna be like darker, like woodier, but it's very fresh. This is one that would be amazing in the summer. Like right now for this heat wave that we're going through, this is a really great refreshing choice very citrusy, kind of like a very slight tea vibe going on with some woodiness. Um, cacao, no, I haven't tried the cacao one. Cedro is, yes. <laughs> Hi, Doran. Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Adobo. <laughs> I don't know about that, I, I tend to prefer Oods that aren't quite so skanky or fecal, but this one really impressed me. I like this one a lot. It's not the most like, ama like fascinating or unique thing, but it's very refreshing. It's very nice, especially in the hot weather. This would be like, like a, like a glass of water. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm I sound so stupid right now. <laughs> it's okay. You guys can laugh at me. Hi, congrats on your channel blowing up. Thank you. Is this live? Yes, we are live. 
real time. No edits, you'll notice that I fuck up my words all the time. So, yes. Do I check my DMs? I do not check my DMs that often because I get a million of them. Um, like my message requests is like thousands. It's, it's a little much to go through. So, but yes, this one from uh, Paris Monte Carlo, really, really good. And then I got a big gift goodie bag from Max Aroma when I was there. Like I said, I was there to film a podcast and I guess to kind of like compensate for that time, they gave me some fragrances. Yeah, the Nosy Bee collection. I like the um, the Ylang Ylang one. What was the name of that fragrance again? You just want to hear me. I know what you guys are doing. <laughs> Cedro G Diamante. Cedro. Hi, my son Noah and I are watching right now. Please send me a shout out. Hi, Noah. Um, can a guy wear a Porsche of a lady? I'm not that familiar. I know I've smelled it. I've smelled it once or twice, but I'm sure that you could because Frederick Mall is very dark. But I've had bad experiences with Frederick Mall. Like, I don't know. I smelled one that was so bad that it just sticks out in my mind. Like, anytime I think of Fre Frederick Mall, I just think of this horrible fragrance that I tried, which was Synthetic Jungle. And now anytime I think of Frederick Mall, I think of that fragrance, and it just puts me off a little. Okay, so from Max Aroma, we got one from Fragrance Du Bois, which is another. This one was... A letdown for me in the way that I was hoping that it would be a little more unisex like something that I would want to wear but it's not but it's a beautiful for a man this is London Spice I was really intrigued by the name and I that's what you get for you know asking for things that are um, that you don't know about it's beautiful for a man it's a lot fresher than I was expecting. <laughs> Musk Ravager smells like a wet donkey. You guys are bad. <laughs> yeah. Who hates oud and leather fragrances? Raise your hand. No, I do not hate them. I love them. So, it's just very fresh, very pretty. I guess I could wear something like this. London Spice. Hey, Erica, wearing D&G Blue Like Blue. Oh, intensity. I just got back from vacation last week. We were in Miami. Thought about you and your Ocean Drive videos. Oh, that's very sweet, Chris. I hope you had a good time. So, yeah, London Spice is very pleasant. I like it. I was expecting something darker. It's very fresh. There is a lot of spice, but mm, it is a little masculine. I think it would be better for a man than for me, which is why I'm sad. <laughs> but beautiful for a man. Yeah, Costco has a lot of a lot of fragrances. I just looked through their website today. I didn't really see anything that was that attractive to me, like something that I would actually want to buy. So, which fragrance smells the most like God of Fire? Honestly, Herba Pura vibes in that direction. It's not the same. It doesn't really smell like it. It has that same fruity vibe. Hi, uh, good night, Skells. So, yeah, Miami Beach is amazing. Miami Beach is heaven, but. Vibrato is very similar to God of Fire, except it doesn't have the mango or the fruitiness, but it has that same like zingy ginger musky vibe. Synergy by Scentologia is also pretty close, but all, once again, it doesn't have that like zingy ginger vibe. But other than that, with God of Fire, it's pretty unique in that way. Like the combination of the notes is not really done anywhere else. It's so good. It's worth the money. It's like 230 bucks for 50 ml. It's a little pricey, but it's so good. It perf the performance makes up for it. Is that pl um, plum, plum and cognac? Yep, right up here. Send of wood. It's amazing. All right, and then I got something that I've been after for a very, very long time. I'm so freaking pumped about this. I've wanted this one for so long. What do I think of Oud Wood? I don't have Oud Wood. I've smelled many, many fragrances that copy Oud Wood or are trying to smell like Oud Wood. I, I have no idea what the performance is like. Um, kind of off topic, but do you ever party? <laughs> no, never. I've never been into partying. I've been, I lived in Miami for like four or five years-ish, and I've been to two clubs, and I was there for a grand total of like 30 minutes. It's not my thing. 
Um, I I like dive bars. I like things like more intimate, kind of loungy places, but I don't like to party. I'm not a big like pool party, DJ, dancing. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. I'm very boring in that way, but I just, I love Miami for the nature. I think it's a very cool city. What would you estimate the value of your fragrance collection? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Oh, so I didn't even see the name of the fragrance. <laughs> Absolute Aphrodisia by Nishio. I've been wanting this for so long. I adore this fragrance. Is Naxxas too much? No, you can get Naxxas on the discounters. Max Aroma has it for really cheap. Joma Shop has it for really cheap. And you should get it there. You should not buy, you should not pay retail for Naxxas, but um, and there's discount codes on top of that for Max Aroma. You can get a really good deal and it's worth it. It's so good. But this is the most beautiful vanilla. I don't know, to me, I smell something kind of like coffee-esque about this. And I was surprised at how long it lasts on my skin. I sprayed this on um, before my flight the day before. And by the end of the flight, I could still smell it on my skin. I was like, this is amazing. Naxos can be too strong for some people. Some people don't like it. They think it's overly sweet. I don't understand that at all. I don't think it's too sweet at all. I think it's freaking sexy, but it's definitely something that you should sample. I mean, or at least try at a store. You can go to Saks, you can go to like, not Nordstrom, but Neiman's, places like that, and they usually have it. So um, definitely worth trying. Also, Addictive Vibration. Yeah, Anisha is really, really good. Very pricey, but once again, if you get it on the discounters, it's better. So I'm very, very, very pumped about that. <laughs> oh, the new PDM. I'm so excited about that. The new masculine one. You did two sprays and choke, choked out your coworker with uh, Naxxas. I think your coworker is a sissy. <laughs> but this one that I got from Atelier's Desores was a huge surprise for me. Wow, Ira, I... Irish. Iris Fav. Fave. I do like side effect a lot too. So yeah, the new PDM has a really weird name. <laughs> it's very complicated. I have a screenshot of it in my phone somewhere, but I don't remember what it's called. This one is really, really, really amazing. It's like a gold bottle or something. Not gold. It's like orange. <laughs> like an orange bottle or orange box or something. I don't know. This one is so good. Like, oh my God. It's like that kind of loon feline warm vanilla vibe with the iris on top. Amazing for Christmas and the cooler weather. I am so pumped for this. This is just heavenly. I was so surprised by this one. Like probably my favorite out of all of them, even more than Absolute Aphrodisiac, which I was really, really wanting. Favorite restaurants in Miami? You know, it's. I don't really go out to eat that much. I like Santorini and South of Fifth. I like Red and South of Fifth. I like Joe Stone Crab, but it's really overpriced. Um, what else do I like? In Brickell, there's this really cool Thai place. I forgot what it's called. Kind of on the outskirts of Brickell. I don't know. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chili Desaurus has some sleepers for sure. Yeah, people need to talk about this. Um, I've never tried the Ralph Lauren Polar Red, sadly. Hopefully I will soon. Um, do any good lychee scents? Um, well, Delina <laughs> for women. And another really great lychee scent that I just got, which was not gifted to me, I bought this. Um, well, someone bought it for me. Someone say that if you're close to your mother, you're more drawn to liking female fragrance. Oh, I have no idea. Herba Pura is like, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily feminine though. It's very musky. Just because it has fruit in it doesn't mean that it's, you know, feminine. Um, you need to try Berlin, best clubs in the world. Yeah, I went to Berlin. I heard the clubs there are very hard to get into. <laughs> like, you, they're very picky. But, uh... Okay, so I got this from Louis Vuitton, Trepe Revs. I know that's not how you pronounce it. 
<laughs> I swear, when there's something that I don't know how to pronounce, I like, go on YouTube and I like look up videos of it to see how to pronounce it. It's embarrassing, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. Well, Berlin is closer, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I want to get into the clubs in Berlin. They're kind of scary. <laughs> I watched some YouTube videos on it and very underground. I feel like I would get eaten alive there. This has a lot of lychee. This kind of reminds me very slightly of Via Cavour one. Imagination was really light for me. I really feel like most of these Louis Vuitton fragrances are not worth it. Not worth the price at all. I was between this one and the Fleur du Desert, but that one, even though it was more expensive and an oud, it didn't last at all on my skin. This one lasted a lot better, projected a lot better as well. Um. <laughs> I <can't. laughs> I'm sorry guys okay let's see what's the best LV for summer that's not Pacific Chill uh, I like City of Stars that one I got a sample of it was a lot more citrusy than I thought it was going to be so and um, Afternoon Swim I really like that one too alright everyone we're going to Berlin we're going to go clubbing it in Berlin. LV is not worth it, although Ombre Nomad, yeah, you know, it's freaking expensive and it's not the best deal. <laughs> House talk, music talk, yeah. I cannot help you guys there. What was my very first bottle of perfume? The first bottle that I ever bought was this. Carolina Herrera, good girl. But technically, very technically, my first ever perfume was Office for Men. <laughs> um, performance of Layton. I don't have Layton. Yeah, guys, like the stream. Thanks, Marcus. You guys do me a big favor when you like the streams. Um, I've not tried anything by Rural Crown. Now let's give Erica her chat back. No, you guys keep going. It's fun to listen and read what you guys are talking about. Yeah, Good Girl is very sexy. It's kind of, people either love it or they hate it, but... I really love it. So the last one that I got from Max Aroma was Southern Bloom by Goldfield and Banks. Will I be doing another video with Curly Fragrance? I'm hoping to one day. I'm planning on going to Dubai later in the year, maybe in November. So hopefully then maybe we can find a way to do some live streams as well. This was another one that I really loved. Definitely very purpley. I know it's like I'm being influenced by the color of the juice but there's definitely like a purple smell to it. Why is Hawass so expensive now? I have no idea. Yeah, everyone says the Sultan's really good. Gotta try it. Um, this is another one that has iris, but there's more, more florals than this. Like more like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a tuberose. There is a very slight grandma vibe, but I like it. Like it's not a bad grandma vibe. <laughs> it's a very like sexy, kind of tropical floral scent. Very thick though it's not like a very light and airy one there's a lot of depth to this and I like Goldfield and Banks a lot I like like the the mission behind the house you know like they source their ingredients and are inspired like their scents are inspired by Australia which is very cool um why are fragrances that are popular in Dubai or UK difficult to get in the US it's, well it's the same question like why are fragrances that are easy to get in the US hard to get in Dubai and in the UK. You know, it's just all about shipping and distribution. And how much money that costs for people to ship. So Falcon Leather. Ah, didn't really blow me away. No. Goldfield. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think Goldfield's really... It's not hard to get in the US. There's a lot of distributors that have Goldfield and Banks, but it's just, it's hard to test. You'll have to order samples of it. That's why I really like Max Aroma. It's a really underrated thing that I need to talk about more because I know a lot of people don't talk about it or really know about it, is that Max Aroma sells five mLs of almost every scent that they have. Uh, it's a really great way to try out a fragrance before you buy it. And they also have an amazing return policy that I read about. I did try the new ginger one. It's like indigenous ginger or something like that. I, I didn't really love it. I smelled it at Exxon's 
it didn't really stand out to me, but a lot of people keep talking about it, so I feel like I need to go back and revisit it and try it again because a lot of people seem to really love it. Tom Ford cents are easily the most overpriced. Yeah, definitely, Chris. Where can I get a 5ml of Vibrato? You can probably get it. Well, I know that Max Aroma sold out of Vibrato, but you can look it up. Maybe they still have the 5mls of Vibrato on Max Aroma. Um, you can just Google it as well. Maybe some private sellers come up, like decanters or whatever. But yes, guys, I'm not a huge, I wasn't a huge fan of indigenous ginger, but I need to revisit it. Hi, Jared. Um, no, I, there's no supplier that I can recommend for discontinued fragrances. No, that's, I've never really even heard of that. Beverly Hills Perfumery. Yeah, that's another great place in America. I like being sober. Being drinking makes like the older that I get, the less I want to drink. I don't know. I get heart palpitations, makes me nervous, anxious. I don't like drinking that much. Like I very rarely do it. I like ginger beer, like non-alcoholic. This is ginger ale from Fever Tree, but I like the Gosling's ginger beer with no alcohol in it. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm becoming a loser in my old age, but that's okay. All right, so that's everything that I got from Max Aroma. And then I guess I just will throw this in here that I got. Um, I bought this from the cosmetic company store. I got this for $75. I know, it's less than that. $68. Talk about a steal. And I love this one. Seriously, this one I like even more than Black Orchid. It's like a more floral Black Orchid. It's really, really good. Do I just stay home and sniff fragrances? <laughs> um, I don't stay home. I try to go out a lot and sniff fragrances and try new things whenever possible. And I got a stupid amount. <laughs> okay. I got a stupid amount of samples from Louis Vuitton too. I'm a sucker for samples. Ooh, life is short, go to the beach. Actually, I think this was like, I think this was $48. It was, I think it was 75 retail. And then with all the discounts that they give you, it was like almost $50, like the best deal ever. But I would not pay refill, refill, retail <laughs> for Tom Ford. It's just, it's ridiculous. Like I got this bottle of fucking fabulous that I showed in my last haul for like, I think it was like $150. So you can get it for a lot cheaper and it retails for like 400. There's definitely places you can go to find cheaper versions of things. So I also got this, this is kind of random, but <laughs> I got this advent calendar from Mika Lef. <laughs> so funny, but it just has like, it's, this is an amazing deal too. Like if you want to give a gift to someone that likes Mika Lef, these are all 10 mLs of I guess 24 of their cents. And then in the middle, it had um, it had this, like a 30 ml of their Sole Passion. This was very fun to bring home in my luggage. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got was this discovery set from Pantheon Aroma. Yeah, Jared, my, my, I'm actually filming a updated fragrance collection tomorrow so look forward to that it's gonna be fun what's the most i've ever spent for a fragrance um oh god what's the most i ever spent on a fragrance probably baby cat probably baby cat um i don't think there's anything else more than that No, definitely Baby Cat. I think I spent like $335 on Baby Cat. And then the other thing that I got that I don't have, I have no idea where it is, it's just like randomly somewhere, is I got a big discovery set for Aaron Terrence Hughes. I got nine, it was a discovery set with nine of his fragrances. And I love them. Wow, I filmed the whole video on it. Um, can a guy wear a baby cat? Oh yeah, a lot of guys like to wear a baby cat. It's beautiful. 
It's a very, very suede. There's nothing really like leather-esque about it, but there's a lot of a, like a suede vibe, vanilla, very boozy. It's so good. Scent or height? <laughs> um, definitely scent. I have, yes, I love One Million Farfum. It's very, very good. Keep that cosmetic company store on the hush. Yeah, it was a steal. I got the the Vini Fatal for like 120 bucks. Like, come on, crazy. So, yeah. Have I ever had a reaction? Um, no, I've never had a reaction to a fragrance on my skin. That's why I'm like, why, why is this happening? I don't, I must've scratched myself or something. I'm just not remembered. But yeah, I think Baby Cat is the most expensive fragrance that I've ever bought. Um, I think it's, well, it's probably not the most expensive one in my collection, but, um, is Sauvage basic? <laughs> uh, n n no, why would you think that? Sauvage is not basic. Sauvage is the best fragrance you could possibly buy. Like, come on. Erica, you never sent any notifications. I know this was like a total improv, like 30 minutes before I said, fuck it, I'm going live. So it was a little last minute. Thoughts on Princess Oh Fresh? I haven't tried th that one yet. I do love Princess. I bought this at the beginning of my um, fragrance channel, but I haven't tried the new one. How how about Zerjov? Zerjov has very expensive ones. Yeah. Um, the most expensive Zerjov that I've bought probably would be Tony Iommi. And I paid over retail for that just because I was being nice and supporting a local niche shop. I paid $300 for Tony Iommi. And Via Cavour, um, it's not $300, so yeah. I, I didn't buy Symphonium. Um, um, what perfume did you wear? Yeah, okay. Uh, not saying. You guys are gross. Okay, well, you, Alexander, are gross, not the rest of you. <laughs> Doran, Pantheon is fire. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. I haven't, I don't think I've smelled any of them yet, but. Yes, Symphonium is ultra expensive. Yeah, Zerjov has some ones that are just really expensive, but I don't have that one, so. <laughs> Do I fuck with JPG? Uh, yeah, Le Beau Le Parfum, amazing. The new elixir, there's actually some from Aaron Terrence Hughes that when I smelled it, I immediately thought of the elixir, but like a million times better, like a much better value than the Lamal elixir. I think it was, uh, oh God, now it's gonna drive me crazy thinking of which one. Not the hard candy, not neon. <laughs> I don't know, there was, you have to watch the video. It'll be up in the next couple days that I filmed where I was like, this smells like the Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal elixir, but so much better. What is your limit on fragrances? How much you refuse to pay? I don't think it was forbidden, no. I don't really think that I have a limit. <laughs> I think that it just depends on how much I love the fragrance and if it's available. I will try my very hardest to not pay retail for a fragrance. Like, I have to, sometimes I'll admit it, sometimes I'm in the mall and it's, it's a girl thing, I'm telling you, where you're like dressed up, you got your makeup done, your nails are done, you're feeling cute, and you just wanna like walk into Saks and spend money. Like you want that retail experience, but that doesn't happen to me that often anymore. Just, I've been through that and I'm kind of over it. So I always try to find it on a discounter and use discount codes. Like you guys would be surprised. Like I, I use my own discount code so like all the time on Max Aroma. Um, after smelling all the fragrances, is there really that much of a difference overall? Um, with the Aaron Terrence Hughes, there's definitely a theme. There are a couple that stood out, but some of them um, were very similar. Like I was actually thinking that throughout smelling them was like, you don't need to buy a bunch of them. Like a lot of them have a very, very similar DNA. He uses a lot of the same ingredients, but there are a few like Luna, the Rose Oud one, Ozone, and I think Notorious. Those were all standout ones to me that were just fantastic and 100% unique, worth it. Yeah. Um, I see a small code Profumo on the back. Profumo. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I have little minis down here, but not for Fuma. Um, but yeah, Aaron Chance Hughes, I was really impressed. Yes, did you find a similarity between Orem and Via Kavor? Yes, they are very, very similar, Vincent. Um, Orem is just like a darker Via Kavor, but they are very close, very good. Armani is right there. I don't know what you're talking about, Armani. Armani, Armani, Armani. A 30 ml of Armani. Oh, yeah, all right, good eye. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Yes, guys, give me a like, please. Close to Versace, yeah, I found it. Yeah, I'm a dummy, right? It's like I have all this stuff I don't even know. This bottle was actually gifted to me by uh, Christian, best brands perfume. He gave me so many perfumes when we filmed our first video together. I was like so blown away. He also gave me this um, Montal Sensual Instinct, which is like one of my favorite perfumes in my collection. Really great. Our elixir's new trend. I know. Seriously, Aaron Terrence Hughes is probably one of the best niche fragrance houses in the world definitely like I was seriously I was not I don't know what I was expecting but I was just so blown away like wow my respect for him just skyrocketed I mean I already love him as a reviewer but he is like a genius it's so good I didn't try onyx boss bitch daddy Sl slut I like slut a lot but um there's so many that I want to try so many that I want to try if a good if you gave a guy just one fragrance behind you, what would it be? How do you ask? Like, it just totally depends on the guy. Like it totally depends on the guy you're gifting to. Um, Afternoon Swim, Louis Vuitton smells amazing. Yeah, I like that one. Thoughts on Alien Goddess and Alien Goddess Intense. Um, I love Alien Goddess Intense. I actually have that one up there. Um, I. I smelled the original. I wasn't a huge fan, but I am obsessed with the Alien Goddess Intense. Amazing, like tropical, coconutty, suntan lotiony, just really good. And something a little different about it too. Like Mugler just has this very cool way of using their florals, and it's definitely very good. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Young Money. I, lo I love your username. Masculine unisex niche, niche suggestions for the gym. Okay. So for the gym, I, I guess it just depends on if you technically like to choke people out or not. I feel like some people, when they think of the gym, they want to wear things that aren't quite as loud, things that are a little softer, but just something very fresh. I would wear something like Gin Tonic by Mika Leff. Hi, Blaine. This is a really great, fresh, invigorating, like just gives you this splash. Like there's something very like, it's boozy, but there's something very effervescent and refreshing about it. No, oh, chokehold at the gym. Okay, if you want the chokehold, <laughs> this is your fragrance, no questions asked. Vibrato. This will choke out anyone coming in within a like 10 foot radius of you. Or God of Fire, if you like something similar. God of Fire is stupid strong. And... It's not very good. Uh, it's good, but it's not. Yeah, those are probably the strongest ones that I could possibly recommend. Yeah, I really want Vibrato lunges for the bottle. Yeah, I, I do that all the time. Like, I will buy things for the bottle. Like, it's ridiculous. Yes, I do have some scent of wood up there. I got compliments with Baby Cat. Baby Cat is sexy. Like, Baby Cat is very good. I, there was kind of like some misconceptions around it being discontinued it's not discontinued it's just not available in america europe um it's like going to be a middle eastern exclusive so basically you have to go into dubai <laughs> to get it um would you layer vanilla 28 with libre le parfum uh no i don't think i would do that i think libre le parfum is like just stunning on its own i, I don't think that it would really mix well with vanilla 28 what are you really paying for the total cost of fragrance bottle packaging? Um, 
you're paying probably mostly for the presentation. I, I mean, I have no idea what it costs for the juice, but you're just paying for the experience, basically. And the juice is a part of the experience. So. Mm. I think it's pointless. Unicorns, yes. Center height, I already answered this. Scent. Um, I've never tried that that uh, creed, believe it or not. What fragrance would you re recommend for a gift for my girl? Ah, it depends on what she likes. Does she like gourmands? Does she like vanillas? Does she like floral scents? Does she like sweet things, musky scents? What's my favorite replica? Honestly, my favorite one for me is Matcha Meditation. This one is so, so good. It's a little light, but it's so freaking good. I love the matcha. There's like a like a dark chocolate kind of vibe in here too. It's so good. Am I a fan of clones? No, not really. I understand the need for them. I understand the market for them, but it's not something that it's not even that I have some sort of like giant moral like thing against it. It's just me personally. I would never buy them. I would feel like I was getting like not cheated, but I like the experience. Like you that you're just talking about paying for the experience of the bottle. Like the bottle, the presentation, the smell, the packaging, that's all part of the experience. And I would really I could really love a smell but the packaging and everything has something to do with it too. Like I just, I wouldn't feel like I was really getting what I wanted if I got a clone of it. Like, yeah, it might smell the same, but it would kind of taint the experience for me. It's not, I would, I would not ever buy clones of things. So for me, it's just, I, it's really hard for me to promote things like that because I don't like it. You know what I mean? I only like to talk about things that I recommend and like, so. Um, what unisex fragrance smells better on men? There's a lot of them. All of them that I just mentioned. Y'all are gonna be kidding me. 41 likes and eight seven watches. Yeah, guys, come on, listen to Jared. Just hit the like button, all right? <laughs> Your hair is so nice, thank you. I'm like losing all my hair from COVID. I just washed my hair and it's really greasy because I've been putting castor oil in it to try to like help it from falling out. It's been falling out like crazy. I've literally lost like half, and it still looks like I have a lot, but I've literally lost half my hair from COVID. It's, it's insane. I've never had this much hair fall out of my head in my life. I'm going to the doctor like next week to try to get something to stop this because I'm gonna be bald before we know it. Um, Pacific Rock Moss, I like it. I don't know, I've heard lots of things about the longevity not being great, but it's definitely one that I would like to buy eventually. Um, anything similar to Givenchy play? No. Any good matcha. The matcha meditation. Princess has a really great matcha note as well, and I like the matcha from Le Labo. That's really overpriced, but I do like it. Gotta run. Thank you. Bye, Doran. What, you had COVID? I had COVID back in February, like early February. I have not tried anything from Thu, too, but I need to. I need to ask for a discovery set. Um, it didn't affect my scent, my sense of smell. I never, I've had COVID twice. Um, both times were very mild, very little side effects. Um, never lost my sense of smell or taste or anything like that. But it's like post COVID, a couple months later, like two or three months later, my hair had just started falling out. And I'm assuming that it has to do with that. So I don't know, I'm gonna get it figured out. It's gonna be okay, but. Um, I like One Million Royale. It's not my favorite. It's very nice. It's not very impressive, but it's very nice. Yeah, I'm already getting bold. <laughs> if, what if a brand like Zahra or Fragrance Dubois collab with you on a fragrance? Um, that's not really something that I think about that much. Just, I feel like I would want to wait a while before doing something like that, you know, because it wouldn't be a cash grab for me. It would, it would be something that I would want to do a lot of research and understanding the process of creating a fragrance and being a creative director with the fragrance. That's another thing. If I do decide to collaborate with a brand on a fragrance, it would have to be with a brand that would let me have that creative process. Like I've heard some horror stories of some other brands that collaborate with people like 
giving the creator like two options to smell and then that's their fragrance i wouldn't want that i would want to be able to be like a part of the creation of the fragrance the whole time and create just like my dream fragrance and i would have to find a way to make something totally unisex because i have men and female uh viewers so i i would do it one day for sure but it would be a time where i felt like i was ready and really understood the creative process of what it is that I had to go through because it's going to be a lot of work if I do decide to do that. How often have you come across a defective sprayer? Never. I don't think I've ever had that issue with a perfume that I bought. I feel like I remember that too, but I don't think it's happened to me yet. I love One Million Parfum. It's really, really, really good. It's like almost up there with Privé, the discontinued one. It's amazing. So yeah, guys, one million. Great choice. I like the bubble, the bubble gummy. Like I think it's a little, some people either love it or hate it, but I actually, I like one million. I think it's fun. So yeah, guys, I have to run because I'm going to the gym. <laughs> Just like the final list thing to check off my list of things to do today. So I hope you guys are going to have an amazing night. Go out and do something fun and maybe go shopping for some perfumes. Maybe I inspired you a little. <laughs> I was close to answering your question. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to scroll back up. Oh, do I like Scandal? I've never tried Scandal. Um, I hope you go bald. Thank you. <laughs> um, I like this Scandal for women. I've never tried the men's. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Where do I see myself in five years? I have no idea. <laughs> Hopefully not bald. <laughs> And what am I gonna wear to the gym? Honestly, I'm probably going to wear one of these new ones just to test it out. I'm probably going to wear London Spice just to see how I like it on me. So yeah, guys, have an amazing night. I had fun chatting with you. Hope you guys had a lot of fun making fun of me, tripping over my words, it's all good. I'm laughing with you. And have a great rest of your weekend.